If there is a common thread in the way future conflicts will be contested, it's the word unmanned. Whether it's autonomous or remotely piloted, the technology is developing rapidly enough these vehicles are already being factored into battle plans. While our entry for Weapon of the Week this week isn't part of those plans just yet, it soon could be. This is the Bell V247 Vigilant, and I'm really excited to tell you all about it. If it looks slightly familiar, there's a reason for that. It's the unmanned version of the Bell V280 Valor, the long-range assault and utility tilt rotor aircraft chosen by the Army to replace the long-serving Sikorsky UH-60 Black Hawk helicopter. Rob Freeland, the Director of Government Relations with Bell, says right now the Vigilant is a concept project, but it has big ambitions. The Vigilant is a, is a, a tilt rotor that's designed from the ground up to take all the human stuff out to give you as much range as you can out of a system. You know, folks always want to carry more stuff. They always want to go have an effect on the enemy. What really helps is when you can launch from unknown areas, you know, mobile areas, but then affect a large part of the battle space from that unknown spot. That keeps the enemy thinking. So those enemies might have a lot to think about. A built-in feature of the Vigilant is versatility. The folks at Bell see the project being able to fill several missions. If you design something that has a lot of vertical lift capability and you can fold it up and stuff it into the hangar on a destroyer, um, you don't have to remote pilot it. It's rules-based autonomous. And you can pull that, that girl out, spin her up, and get out to many hundreds of miles and hang out for a long period of time. You can do anything. Included in anything is gathering intel with surveillance and reconnaissance tools, precision strikes, aerial escorts, as well as delivering supplies and equipment to troops on the ground, just to name a few. So what about those specs? Bell says the 247 can hit a top speed of 300 plus knots per hour and has a long range cruising speed of 240 plus knots per hour. With a ceiling of 25,000 feet, the Vigilant can also carry an internal load of 2,000 pounds or a sling load of 9,000 pounds. The next step for Bell, finding the right partners for the project. The Navy is very interested in something that can take off vertically from a destroyer and get out to really long ranges that are relevant to them in their warfight. Uh, the Marine Corps is really interested in using this and once you get the, the basic aircraft in place, there's all kinds of stuff you can do with it. You can even do logistics work with it. So the idea is a multi-mission aircraft, and uh, we've come a long way in that, in that design. One final thought, a big thank you to Bell's Director of Global Public Affairs, Jeremy Martin and Rob Freeland for their invite to tour Bell's Advanced Vertical Lift Center. It was a visit we won't forget anytime soon. Thank you.